The not-so-serious saga of Neymar. From street rat to hair model, with questionable acting skills, Neymar da Silva Santos Jr., or Neymar as most mere mortals know him, wasn't born with a golden bib in his mouth. No, sir, this story starts on the mean streets of Magui das Cruzes, Brazil, where young Neymar would hustle pigeons for spare change, allegedly. Okay, maybe not pigeons, but he definitely honed his dribbling skills dodging rogue potholes and stray chickens. Now, Neymar had a gift for football. The ball stuck to his foot like chewing gum to your grandma's favorite rug. By the age of 11, scouts were circling him faster than sharks around a free buffet. Imagine 11-year-old Neymar, all gangly limbs and a mop of unruly hair, being whisked away to Santos FC Academy. Let's just say his transition from dusty streets to fancy locker rooms wasn't exactly smooth. There's a rumor, completely unverified of course, that during his first training session, Neymar accidentally nutmegged the head coach. The coach, a seasoned veteran with a temper shorter than a toddler's patience, chased Neymar around the field with a rolled-up newspaper, yelling, You think this is capoeira, boy? This is football. Despite the initial nutmeg-induced chaos, Neymar thrived at Santos. He tore up defenses like a toddler with a roll of toilet paper, leaving them in a confetti-like mess. Goals rained from his feet like a tropical downpour, and his dazzling skills had fans chanting his name louder than a karaoke night gone wrong. Then came 2013, the year everything changed. Barcelona, the land of Tiki Taka and Lionel Messi's magic left foot, came calling with a suitcase full of cash. The transfer saga was about as dramatic as a telenovela. There were secret meetings, whispered rumors, and enough financial jargon to make your head spin. Finally, after weeks of will they won't, Neymar landed in Barcelona like a human disco ball, ready to party with Messi and Suarez. Those were the glory days. Neymar, Messi, and Suarez formed an attacking trio so potent, defenders would rather face a dragon guarding its horde. They waltzed through defenses, leaving opponents with existential dread and a healthy dose of how in the world did they do that? But Neymar wasn't all about goals and fancy footwork. He had a penchant for theatrics that would put an Oscar-winning actor to shame. A gentle breeze would send him sprawling on the ground, clutching a body part that seemed miraculously unharmed moments later. This, of course, earned him the nickname Neymar Jr., the world's greatest flopper. Then came the plot twist worthy of M. Night Shyamalan. In 2017, Neymar decided Barcelona wasn't big enough for his audacious talent and possibly his ego. Paris Saint-Germain, with pockets lined with enough oil money to make Scrooge McDuck jealous, swooped in and bought him for a cool 222 million euros. That's more money than most countries have in their piggy banks. Life in Paris wasn't all croissants and romantic strolls down the Champs-Élysées. Injuries plagued Neymar like a bad case of hiccups, and his on-field antics continued to be a source of amusement and frustration, for fans and opponents alike. Through it all, Neymar remained a character. From his ever-evolving hairstyles that defied the laws of physics to his questionable fashion choices, remember the highlighter yellow suit? He never failed to entertain. So, there you have it, the not-so-serious saga of Neymar. A footballing genius with a flair for the dramatic, a questionable grasp of physics when it comes to hair, and a smile that could melt glaciers. Whether you love him or loathe him, one thing's for sure. Neymar is never a dull moment. Thanks for watching.